If you're asked to find the displacement or the distance traveled for an object and you're given its velocity versus time graph, all you want to do is find your area underneath of your graph. So for instance, for this graph, we would take our graph and break it up into different shapes. So hopefully we could see a triangle, we'll label that one, a rectangle, another triangle. So if you find the area of the triangle, the rectangle and the other triangle, and add those three areas together, you will get how much distance the object moved forward in this first section of the graph. Once it hit this point, it had stopped, and for the negative velocities, it's now moving backwards. So if you want to find the distance it traveled backwards, we would get the area for triangle four and the area for rectangle five. If we add these two together, we would get the distance it traveled backward during the time expressed in this graph. If the problem asks you to get the total distance traveled, since distance does not depend upon direction, we would add all of our forward distances, we would add our two reverse distances, and then we would add those two quantities together. If instead it asks for displacement, we would take the forward and we would subtract the backwards. So if it's distance, we just add all of our distances together, and if it's displacement, we simply subtract.